Hello everyone. Today I Bagita Murmu, student of Department of Chemistry of Durgapur Government College, going to demonstrate how do we use an Oswald viscometer. This is an Oswald viscometer. It is the most simplest as well as a useful instrument. Oswald viscometer is used for the measurement of relative viscosities of liquid. Let us have a look on what are the parts of it. It consists of bulb B to which is sealed a tube AV above and a capillary below. The lower end of capillary is attached to a bigger bulb C and a wider tube CD. There is a mark M1 on the tube AB above and M2 on the capillary below. First we have rinsed it with distilled water and clamped vertically on the stand. Now a definite volume of water is introduced into the bulb C. Now water is sucked into the bulb B so that level of water is above the mark number 1. Now water is allowed to flow from mark M1 to M2 and the time taken by the water to cross from mark 1 to 2 is noted. Here we got the time 80 seconds. We have obtained 3 concordant readings with water. We will follow the same procedure with 5% super solution. This is the equation using which we can determine the viscosity coefficient of unknown liquid with respect to water. Where eta s is the viscosity coefficient of solution, eta w is the viscosity coefficient of water, Rho S is the density of unknown solution and Rho W is density of water and T S and T W are the time taken 
for the liquid and water to flow respectively this was all about oswald viscometer hope you have enjoyed it thanks for watching